Yo, it's Math Mixer. Everybody loves math. Gotta love the teacher. Who that be? Miss Lowry. She teach you two plus two and crazy formulas. You'll be going home to mom and dad saying, yo, I love the three different kinds of percent problems that exist in the world. And we're going to use algebra to solve them. The first type of problem is when you know the percent and you know the original amount, but you don't know what the final answer is. Okay, so this is the kind that you see in elementary school where you just multiply, straightforward. Then there is the kind where you, you know what percent, but you don't know what the original amount was. And then you know the answer, but you don't know the original amount. And finally, there is the kind where you know the original amount and you know the final amount, but you don't know what percent was taken, where you actually have to work backwards and find the percent. So I'm going to show you how to set these up algebraically, and then we'll solve. The word percent comes from a Latin root, percentum, which means per 100, or parts out of 100. In decimal form, this looks like 0 0.01, or 1 100th for 1%. We also need to keep in mind that in algebra, the word of means to multiply, and the word is means we should place an equal sign in our equation. Let's go ahead and start these. 5% of $20, that would be 5% and then we of means times so we're going to take that times twenty dollars and is means equals and we don't know what that is so we're going to put we'll put a variable we'll just say y okay all right now doggone it you can't use this in this form until you change it to its numerical form so we can write this as five parts out of a hundred or we can write it as 0.05 most people will use the 0 .05 because they use their calculators most of the time. So we'll go 0 0.05 times 20. And go ahead and pop that in. Somebody tell me what are you going to do. Yes. One. All right. Three percent of what number is three? All right. So this time we have three percent of means times but we don't know what the original amount was. So I'm going to call that, um, I think I'll use an x this time. 3% times x is 3. All right, once again, we must change the percentage to a numerical equivalent. So that would be 0 0.03 times x is equal to 3. Now, algebraically, to solve this, Equation, all we have to do is divide both sides by 0 0.03, right? So we'll put our division bars up, 0 0.03, 0 0.03. You guys want to please pop that into your calculators. Any number divided by itself is 1, so 1 times x is x. And 3 hundredths will go into 3 exactly 100 times. Good. So you see we get an answer of 100 there. We don't know the percent. We know we're starting off with 20. When we take a certain percent of it, we're going to end up with 4. So let's see here. I don't know the percent. I think I'm going to let the variable p stand for percent, because that's the thing I don't know. Of means times, so p times 20 is equal to 4. All right, to get rid of the 20, algebraically, we divide both sides of the equation by 20. Okay, and then of course 20 divided by 20 is 1. 1 times p is p. And then 4 divided by 20 is what? 4 divided by 20 is? Okay, 0 0.2. Now, is the answer two tenths? Is that the percent? No. What if we wanted to turn this into a percent? We have to bebop that decimal over two spots in the direction that the percent sign would appear. So what you're actually going to get here is 
20%. Now let's go ahead and take these basic skills and put them into some actual problems. Okay, so here's some, some information. 56% of the 18 million teenagers in the United States own iPods. Approximately how many kids is this? Okay. All right, so let's approach this. Of means times, is means equals, we got the percentage, we know the amount we're starting with. Okay, so it's just going to be 56% of the 18 million, so that's going to be times 18 million is equal to, uh, let's just say, um, K for kids. Okay. I want to know how many kids this is. All right, I've got to change the 56% to uh, a numerical number here. We're going to get it out of the percent form. So that's going to be 0 0.56. Now, notice this is written in newspaper shorthand. All right. I feel kind of lazy, so I, you know, I know a million has six zeros on it. I'm just going to multiply by 18 here. All right, equals K. All right, please go ahead and do that. And what are we looking at here? What do you get? Does anybody have it yet? 10.0. 10. 10. what? 0.8. Okay, so we're going to get 10.08 is equal to K. All right, now, is that the answer to the problem? No. No, I have to write the stinking word million after it, right? 10.08, I have to remember to write million after this. And then you'd circle it. Example three. This time, we know the answer. It says there are seven guys in the knitting club, and this is 87.5% of the total membership. So we know the answer, we know the percent, but we don't know the total member count. We don't know how many people there are in the whole club. We just know that 87.5% is equal to seven. So let's see here. Okay, we don't know the original amount, but we know the percentage. Okay, so 87.5% of the total membership. I don't know the total membership, so I'm going to call that M. So 87.5% times M is equal to 7. Yep, we got some guys out there knitting, so we do. All right, now. 87.5% written as a decimal, of course, would be 0 0.875 times the total membership is equal to 7. Let's go ahead and divide both sides by 875 thousandths. Anybody have an answer for me yet? Anybody have an answer yet? Yes. So the total, oh my gosh! How many girls are in this club? One. Mason spent $13.77 on a CD. This price included tax of 6%. What was the original price of the CD? R equal original price. You take the original price. Plus, now how do you figure out tax on the original price? You got to multiply it by 6%. So we're going to take the original price times 6%. That will give me, that right there, that expression will give me the tax. So if I add the tax onto the original price, the total they tell us in the problem is $13.77. Point zero six. We have the original price plus the amount of tax. One whole original price plus six pennies on the dollar for every dollar of the original price. So one plus point zero six. If we add like terms here, we will get one point zero six R. Okay, dollars and seventy seven cents by one point zero six. Everybody loves math. Gotta love the teacher. Who'd that be? Miss Lowry. She teaches two plus two.